What is up, my magic is Creates Wizard Dragon here with a fun deck for you today, and today we are looking at a Simic Cookies build. We've seen this before with a bunch of different Simic artifacts, some fun stuff involving Tough Cookie. When it enters the battlefield, create a food token for two and a green. Target non-creature artifact to control becomes a 4-4 artifact creature until the end of turn. Two and a tap, sacrifice it, and you gain three life. Okay, so fun stuff, right? But we're adding Simulacrum Synthesizer. When it enters the battlefield, we scry two. Whenever another artifact of mana value three or greater enters the battlefield under your control, create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token with this creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control. Yeah, this gets out of hand real fast because we're running stuff like Simeon Simulacrum. When it enters the battlefield, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. It has unearth for two and two green, and we return it from the graveyard to the battlefield, which of course triggers the simulacrum. Yes, we have to sacrifice it or, or uh, exile it at the beginning of your next end step, or if it would leave the battlefield, and we unearth only as a sorcery. It's fun stuff there. Thren Spider, big chunky spider. 2-4, gets above a cut down. It has reach, enters the battlefield, create a... You and target opponent create a tapped Power Stone token for 7. We look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact from it and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom in any order. Might Stone, Weak Stone. We're not running it with Urza, but we do draw 2 cards and target creature gets minus 5, minus 5 till end of turn. We can ramp into stuff because we can tap it and add 2 colorless mana. It cannot be spent to cast non-artifact spells. We are running 2 copies of 3-fold Thunder Hulk. When it enters the battlefield, create 3... Uh, with three plus one plus one counters on it, whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, create a number of one one colorless gnome artifact creature tokens equal to its power. For another two, we sacrifice another artifact, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So that's kind of our big finisher. But we are also running stuff like three steps ahead. We can counter target spells, create a token of a that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control, or plus two, add, draw two cards, then discard a card, Teething Wormlet. This just gets bigger as we go. Has Death Touch so long as you control three or more artifacts. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. If it's the first time this is this ability has resolved, we put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Ginger Brute, because we like to get above, we get to get not above, but we get like to get into our opponent's camp. It can't be blocked uh, by creatures uh, with haste. If we tap it for one and two tap, uh, sacrifice it, we gain three life. We're also running Zoetic Glyph. We haven't really run this card, but we enchant artifact, and it is a Golem creature token with base power five and 5-4 uh, in addition to its other types. When it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, we discover three, and of course we can f discover lots of fun stuff with that card as well. For our sideboard, we are running to shore up to three Smuggler's Surprise. This is an interesting one, because uh, this one could be a main board one. Uh, <coughs> for two and a green, we can mill four cards. You may put up to two target and or land creatures from among the milled cards into your hand. Uh, four and a green we can put up to two creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield or for plus one creatures you control with tar with power four or greater gain hexproof and indestructible till end of turn make disappear just countering stuff same with dissipate uh consuming tide just returns permanence bedrock tortoise tortoise uh as long as it's our turn, creatures we control have hexproof, so it does kind of mess with our opponent's strategies, and of course, fade from history. Now, again, this is a risky one, but if they're running a similar build, or if they're running enchantments, uh, like a Selesnia build, which is getting a little bit more uh, common, we want to be able to sh make sure we can take care of that. So, this is our Simic Cookies deck. It's a Simulacrum deck. We got two cards of Simulacrum, hence why it's called Simiculacrum. Uh, if you are new to my channel, we run a best of one and a best of three. So, you can see how the deck functions in either one of those environments. And, of course, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. So, without further ado, let's get to the Simic Cookie Synthesizer games, kids. Now we're against Star-Lord for our best of one matchup. We go first. That's interesting for once. Okay, so not the war. Ooh, it's an interesting proposition here. Let's do that. Now, watch. It's going to be. Yep, here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, hey. You're going to cast... Um... Oh, Ginger Brute. Oh, okay, cool. Mirror build? No, I'm not going to block. Ooh, Simulacrum. That's fun. Mono blue build. Yeah, I don't see any reason to cast anything at this point. Now, let's actually do this. Actually, no one. No, we're not going to do that at all. And you have another one? No? Okay. And of course you have another fading hope because... Sure. Yeah, you're gonna bounce that and I'm gonna discover... Three. Good lord. Okay, well Thrawn Spider is a good hit. Thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, this is that uh, chi the, that really... Oh yeah, I've seen this one before. This is... Uh... This is... Um... No blocks. This is... Uh... Uh, whatchamacallit. This is the... This is that build that has the, uh, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, oh yeah, what, what, what's his name? Oh, Ace MTG. He was the one that, that, that demonstrated this build, uh, this past week. It's like no, it's like a zero rare, um, it's like a zero rare build, and that it just, it, it's annoying to deal with. Absolutely annoying to deal with. And the downside to this is like, in this meta, there is this, this this level for creativity, but also too. Okay, gained a little bit of life there, but. I think we just have to keep status quo here because if not, we're going to get slammed. Yeah, it's that zero rares build that they have. Okay. Let's 
try this. Try that. At least force them into some sort of bounce spell. Yep, exactly. So, get that. We'll discover something. Yeah, Thrawn Spider is fun. Yep. <laughs> That's a 10 10. So, yep. That's fun. Okay, they draw some cards. Draw two cards, actually. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay, so got some fun stuff that we can do with this. This becomes that. Yeah, uh, let's let's swing with these. The reason I'm not swinging with that is I want to leave that behind. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, so they'll discover something. Okay. Fading hope. What do you fade back? You fade, of course, the, 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 the big massive token. That's is what it is. I'm trying to figure out if they are scrying or what here. Okay, cool. Ginger Brute. Cool. And Zoetic Glyph. No, Spyglass Siren. Okay. So just a lot of... Maybe this isn't the deck that... Uh, uh, a MTG was... Oh, Precipice Thief. Okay, cool. Now they'll, they'll pump that up. I've been meaning to try this deck, to be completely honest. This is a, a, a fun build, I think. Network Disruptor, huh? Okay. Well, I can understand why you would want to tap down a few things, but... Yeah, not a bad move. So this way, if you come in with that... I can kill it with this wormlet here.
Okay. I said we swing in with the big guns. Just to see what they do. We've got the reach. Okay. Okay, now they do have the Prosperous Thief. Rogue or Ninja deals combat damage as Ninja too. So they can pump this up to um, deal with the... Though I don't think it's going to matter much because we win on the next turn anyways. Yeah, we, we win next turn. doesn't matter what they do. So, because that just sneaks in. Okay, let's go to the best of three. We're against Veiled Sin for our best of three matchup. We are on the play for once. Say it ain't so. How cool is that? All right, Teething Wormlet, Tough Cookie. Get some early threats down if they oblige. Oh, hey, we even get a Simulacrum in there too. How cool is that? Boom. Okay. Deep Coven Belt, huh? You're gonna have to take the Simulacrum, I think. Now you take the tough cookie, huh? Well, how fun are you? Yeah, we can't do that yet. Alright, we're gonna swing. Body Dropper. Okay, cool. Gain a little life. Okay, cool. Oh, it's an artifact. It can't be a creature. Oh, man, do you have a cut down? No, you don't. How fun are you? Okay. Mayhem Patrol. From the battlefield, draw a card. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's put down the simulacrum. Synthesizer, I should say. Mm hmm. Now yeah, that's, cl that's cute. That's cute. Let's see what they do. Okay. That comes back. Cool. So I get to do some discovering. And I discover a tough cookie. Alright. Well then. Here is that. Deep cavern bat again, huh? Now what are you going to take this time? Yeah, the glyph was probably the good choice. That was probably a good choice. Hey, I get another synth. How cool is this? Oh, watch these things fly. <laughs> Ginger brute. That's a cute one. All right. He said no mas. He said no mas. No more. Um... I think we're okay. That's an interesting deck there, Veiled Sin. Go two and two with this build, so we keep the, th the best of three. No matter what happens. Not a bad keep here either. And go with the forest. Wormlet, Ginger Brute, boom. Or not. <laughs> Hey, the bat. It is a problem, this bat. 
What did you take? Oh, you took the tough cookie. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I don't think they block that. It's neither here nor there, though. Devilish valet, huh? Oh, it's one of those decks. I haven't seen a devilish valet in a long time. Synth comes down. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, the valet kind of scares me a little bit, but... Put a little bit of pressure on them. Devilish Valet, huh? I think I know what this deck's supposed to do, but it's just not doing what they want it to do. Uh, Alright, well that's pretty awful, actually. Part of me wants to that, but also, too, part of me wants to do this. What? That will get a lot of damage across. And that'll kill one of my guys, but that's okay. As we are, in theory, in pretty good shape, but let's see what happens here. Yeah. Alright, I think we got him. Alright, cool. Let's uh, go to the post game analysis then. As we're gonna rank up back up into gold. <laughs> <laughs> eh, we, we, we had a rough run today. That's all right. Let's go to the post-game analysis. Okay, so another deck that tries to break the synth. I mean, that is a really powerful card in this meta. Is it the best use uh, in a deck like this? Eh, probably not, but I do think that there is quite a bit of fun to be had with this build. It certainly does make our opponent's lives miserable and it can really uh if we ever get the threefold down man that that's when it really really sings so if you like what you see with this simic synth build that we have going on here please like please subscribe and as always with magic miscreants may you always be on the play may all your spells hit the battlefield risen dragon is out enjoy the rest of your sunday